recognize the gentleman from Georgia for five minutes. Thank you. Um, Ma'am, when did you first learn of the death of seven-year-old Jacqueline McKean? Uh, so I believe uh, the, uh, my front office staff was notified around the, if I have the dates right, the 7th, uh, and then Commissioner McAleenan gave me a full uh, readout email on the 13th. On the 13th? Yes, sir. Did you inquire uh, about it uh, between the 7th and the 13th? Yes, and as you know, the, uh, the facts continue to come to light now, but yes, sir. What actions did you take between the 7th and the 13th? Uh, some of it is to just try to understand what happened. As you know, this was an extraordinarily remote location. Uh, so we have begun investigations and our IG is looking into this among others, but to try to understand what other options might have been available as All soon right. as- Okay, thank you. Um, how many children 17 years old or younger have died in DHS, ICE, or CBP custody since you took office? Uh, I will get back to you on that figure. What I can tell you is that we have saved 4,200 migrants who are out well, distressed due to their Approximately how many have died? I understand your question, sir. I will get back to you. Can you give me an approximate figure? I, I will get back to you. I'm not going to guess under oath. All right. Do you view those who you call illegal aliens to be human or subhuman? Uh, illegal aliens are human, sir. All right. And do you believe that uh, these illegal aliens approaching our southern border um, in, are in search of safety and security primarily or primarily in search of a job? Uh, so what we find with the flow, the most current flow over the last couple of years, are the vast majority are either economic migrants or they're looking to reunify with their families. All right. Do you believe that uh, DHS was prepared to implement your family separation policy when it went into effect? Uh, sir, we never had a policy for family separation. Uh, what we did do was we applied the law equally to anybody who broke it, and if you were an illegal crosser of the southwest border, we, to the extent that we could, referred you for prosecution. You're aware that both the DHS Inspector General and GAO concluded that DHS was inadequately prepared to implement the family se separation policy in an organized and efficient manner. Are you familiar with that report? I'm familiar with parts of the report, yes, Do sir. you agree with it or disagree? I don't agree with the premise of the question. We never had a policy, nor do we now, to separate families as a policy. Right. Well, let me ask you a simple question. When the decision was made to prosecute parents, it was DHS that physically separated the parent from his or her children. Is that correct? If the parent was referred to prosecution and was going to a criminal setting, uh, we do not send the children with the parent at that time. How is it possible that your agency performed a separation policy uh, when it did not have an ability to keep adequate records for eventual reunification of parent and child? So each uh, parent uh, in our custody did have access to communicating with their children. Uh, the How children was that it were... that you were able to implement the policy without having a means of being able to reunite children with their parents? Uh, we did have a means. What we have done is improved it so that it's much more expedited right. and the technical well, systems well, now, interoperate. Point, DHS and HHS announced the existence of a central database containing location information for separated parents and minors. You familiar with that uh, announcement? Uh, we did all of our systems, but well, I think you're probably Are you familiar referring... with that announcement when it was made? There's quite a few systems. You might be referring to the one from June. Okay, well, the IG found no evidence that a database ever existed. There is a database, sir. We know where all the children were. We so knew where you, all the parents were. So you disagree with that uh, uh, IG um, I don't. I don't have the language in front of me, so I'm happy to get back to you very specifically in response to that question. What I can tell you is ICE has a database, CBP has a database, and the Dep Department of Health and Human Services also has a database. But there was no database containing location information for separated parents and minors. Again, we did know within each individual 
agency. So are you, are you trying to say that there has been no problem with your agency reuniting parents and children separated at the border in accordance with your separation policy? The time of the gentleman has expired. The witness will be permitted to answer the question. Sure. Uh, we've complied with the court order, sir. We've worked very closely with the court and you are reunited. You at avoiding the, ti the time of the gentleman has expired. My questions. The time of the gentleman has expired. And I would note for the record, Mr. Chairman. Regular order. I would note that uh, every other member has been allowed to proceed with their questionings uh, for more than uh, the, five, the five minutes that I was given. And so I take it as a compliment Every, that uh, the gentleman yield. The gentleman's time has expired. The chair would just say to the gentleman that that's true of everyone before you except for me, and I'm going to enforce it. From now on, we gave you the opportunity to ask a question beyond your time expiring, and we gave Ms. Nielsen the opportunity and, and to respond. Unfortunately, I was unable to get a specific answer to any of the questions that 